Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Braid Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys the best settings for Metro Dread on the PC with the Yuzu emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. But for ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, there's a couple of ways you can optimize your settings um, to basically make Metro Dread. Um, if you want to play it at 60 FPS or try to play in 4K, obviously it's all depending on the type of PC build you have, but since it's a 2D game, it's not too demanding. So, let's say, example, I have a 10, 1050 GTX, and Metro Dread is pretty possible to play in 4K, especially on the Ryu Jinx. That's more easier to um, basically get games playing in 4K due to the fact that it has that optimal settings in their settings, but in Yuzu, can also do that too. But first things you have to do is go to the configure side and go to graphics. Um, you're on advanced tab, VSync should be um, on by default and fast GPU time should be on by default. Your settings should be on normal. Uh, if you, I believe you put it on high, you would start to um, experience some type, some type of weird um, experience when you're playing certain games. Um, default. I'm gonna leave this by default with the the flickering audio. You don't need to worry about that. Auto. Um, and this, I usually use in the general CPU tab. I usually leave on auto or unsafe. But either or is really doesn't matter. But I just leave it on auto for now. And then I press OK on that. Now you see in the bottom right here, these are basically three important things that you really need for the emulator. As you see, my GPU is on normal. You can change it to high, but I don't recommend that because uh, Metro Dread is not too, um, it's not too much of a demanding game. So you might as well in GP, GPU normal and OpenGL. There's Vulkan, but I don't recommend using Vulkan because I feel like it's still in beta, um, still at a beta stage currently so OpenGL you can never go wrong with OpenGL and always leave the game on dock mode never leave it undocked now if you guys are really trying to optimize your settings the best thing you should always do is go to your NVIDIA control panel I had to load up now if you guys are familiar with my videos in the past you should already know how I basically set this up if you go to adjust image settings with preview, use my preference optimizing, and then you go all the way to performance, and then you go to the set the configuration, use your graphics card. Like I mentioned before, I have a 1050 GTX. This is considered, um, I think in a few more years, this is gonna consider a low end on PC build, but uh, currently I don't, I physically don't think it's, I'm low end PC, but I think in a few years and uh, my PC build will be considered well, my laptop will be considered low end. So yeah, if I'm able to play games in 4K on a user emulator with this, then I think much older, like newer builds should have no problem running certain games in 4K on a user emulator. All right, so right here, I usually leave everything on default. The most important things that you should really look at for emulation is always Vertical sync because this is just another way of v-sync um, Triple buffering. I don't think you need to worry about that too much when it, when it comes to em emulation Open GL running GPU. That's also important Shader cache. That's also important This is the fact that emulation when you're playing the game more and more is you're basically building on um, shader cache So having this on is pretty much helpful <laughs> You can't go too wrong with that max frame rate. Um, you can leave it on and off I usually leave it off. And then after that was program settings. It's kind of like the same thing as global settings, but it's just, it's like on in a more enhanced way. So if you, it's basically like the same thing, basically. So if you have VSync off, that's to basically, VSync is basically like to make it go past 30 FPS. Don't keep it, it doesn't keep it locked on 30 FPS, it makes it try to push towards 60 FPS if anybody's familiar with VSync. And then while you're right here, 
I always go with the high-end NVIDIA processor, basically using my graphics card. And then right here, I just add, you know, here we go, add the user emulator, add that select the program. And then you basically apply it. Then you close that out. Now, another thing I'll basically leave in the description down below is the 60 FPS mod hack. This works for basically about 80 to 90% of Yuzu games in general because if you have, say, for example, VSync off and use the 60 FPS hack, the user emulator is basically going to try to basically push for 60 FPS. And it's all depending on your PC build on how this basically works. So do keep in mind with that. And when you get it, it's going to come as a RAR file. I'll close this real quick. Drag and drop this 60 FPS hack. Close it right here. And we'll go to mod data location. Drag and drop it here. I'm going to close that real quick. And we'll go to properties. And then ta-da. That's how you know that is capable with um, certain games on using emulator. If you go on properties and then you see the patch name and you see 60 FPS hack, just make sure the box is checked. If it's not checked, just check it. And you basically press okay and you're all set to go. So that's pretty much it. I know that you can't do much currently on the Yuzu um, configuration tab, but throughout the years, as this emulator gets a little bit more advanced, we're gonna look, we're gonna learn how to optimize our settings more and more. But if you guys have a NVIDIA control panel and certain mods like a 4K mod or a 60 FPS mod, that's basically you, you all you really need <laughs> for this emulator when it comes to um, certain settings. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Bertone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.